Hey YouTube, it's Tom from High Def Electronics. Today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on our new phone flashing software called UFlash It. It's some software that was designed to reprogram CDMA phones to work on different service providers like uh, if you have a, F a Verizon or a Sprint or Altel, uh, f you can you you can reprogram using our software to work on Cricket or Metro or Page Plus. So it's a really, really, really cool piece of software. Um, and it's really easy. All you need is a computer, internet, and the data cord that goes with whatever phone you're trying to flash. And then go to our uh, site, highdefelectronics.org. Um, you can follow the really simple guides on each phone. All of uh, the tools that you'll need to flash are on the website, drivers, whatnot. Um, and we've changed the user interface so that it's so easy. Pretty much anybody can flash phones now. Um, dealers, we have an unlimited pin that we're selling. Um, this pin, you can use it for 30 days and flash non-stop so if you're in a high volume flashing area this is the ideal way to go so today I'm gonna to be flashing an HTC Evo over to Cricut it's a Sprint phone um, I'm not gonna be going through the whole thing because it's already flashed I just wanted to show you how easy this is okay so here we go <clears throat> First thing you want to do if you're going to Cricket is call Cricket and have your plan changed over the 60Z plan, the Android plan, and ask them for your min, MDN, and SID. Okay, with the HTC, you're going to stick it in Diag mode. You're going to go download the software from the website, or you probably already have it. You're going to type in your significant username and password. Each person will have their own designated software that you can use over and over again. It'll always be the same. Um, we, we send out uh, lifetime updates, so you never have to worry about uh, the programmer. Okay, so we're going to select our model. Our destination carrier today is going to be a Cricut. We're going to, uh, it's an, a Sprint phone. I'm going to pick the brand as an HTC. Alright. It's going to be a full flash. Each phone has its own PDF guide that goes with the, f uh, with the file. So once you pick your uh, your model and everything this guy will pop up and it shows you exactly how to use the software it's very very simple so after we get that program we're gonna go in and make sure the com ports the right com port so you go up to the tool menu you're gonna click the device manager We're going to go down and open up the ports. Have you noticed mine is an HTC interface, COM port 76. We'll go down and hit detect phones. Once we've detected the phones, then we're going to read the phone. This will start the, the process of the flash so after we read the phone we're gonna input the information we got from Cricut the, the MDN put in the min and then your SID Right, and then we'll hit right. You're going to get a menu that pops up. You're going to 
this is your committing to the flash there's no charge up until this point after you hit yes then we charge so after you hit yes you'll go through the process full flash at that point you'll have talk text and internet if we do this we'll go into uh, the menu of the phone we're gonna set up the um, picture mail MMS go to menu go to settings go to applications we're going to enable unknown sources this is what's going to allow you to download the MMS APK file from the market <clears throat> All right, then we want to go to your browser and type this into the top of the browser. MMS dot I have great dot info. Once the download starts, once it's completed, you can look at the top of your phone and you'll see the download icon. And you can just scroll it down and install the software right from there. Once the software is installed, go back to your home screen, press the message icon. This is the old messaging icon. Once you press that, it's going to open up the message screen. You're going to want to hit settings and uncheck sent notifications. Once you got that unchecked, then you'll want to navigate back to your home screen. Drag and drop the old message icon to the bottom of the phone and remove it from your uh, home page. Now we're going to navigate back to your applications and look for your new Android messaging icon. We'll hold this down, drag it to your home page, and you're done. Full flash. Less than five minutes. I'll be doing more tutorials, so follow me on YouTube. Have a great day.